Assassin's Creed 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Assassin's Creed 2 here on The Liquid Gamer. In the last episode, we escaped Florence and escaped to Montregioni where our good friend, Uncle Mario, saved us. Let's speak to him, shall Salute, we? Salute, Uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimo. Practice makes perfect. Learn how to fight from Mario. Let's learn how to fight! You can swing a oh, we're gonna kill you. Sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father is an assassin. Ben, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I figured you'd have the Codex page you holding as well. Codex? <laughs> See? The guide to the inner workings of the Order. Its origin, purpose, and techniques. Our creed, if you will. The Father believed the Codex contained a powerful secret. Something that would change the world. Perhaps it's why I went for him. Assassins, Templars, Codex pages. This is a lot to take in. You need to open your mind. Again. Always remember, nothing is true, everything is permitted. <laughs> I wanted to get through all this dialogue. I want to hear it all. For you guys that don't. I nut punched him. Because I'm badass. Vogliamo aprire le danze. Oh, su. Non sei in pessima forma. Dovresti fare più pratica. Yeah, whatever that meant. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Ow. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground, where they continued their nefarious work. Non amo che mi si What work? The Templars Ooh. seek dominion over man. And we, the assassins, are sworn Ooh. to stand against them. Was Uberto one of them? Yes. And the other names on my father's list? Templars as well. That means Vieri. Just like his father, Francesco. Likely the entire Pazzi family. Ow. Uh, it would explain many things. There we go. I don't know why I needed to learn how to escape when I've been doing that pretty well. Go in. Just, just, just go in. Just go in. Just keep wailing on him. Wail on him. Wail on him. <laughs> well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. 
Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain. Three days. But Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Hmm. He did also want you to... Uncle! To Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables. Thank you. Before leaving, go check out Maria. Practice makes perfect. Now, Maria is upstairs. Jesus. She disappeared. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. Bye now. Disappear into your void. Place the collected feathers in the chest in Maria's room. One out of a hundred feathers collected. Jesus Christ. So yeah, um, if you didn't already gather, collecting all the hundred feathers will um, bring her back. Like, she'll come out of her shock. Which, to be honest, is not really helpful to us right now, so... I don't really care. Let's, uh, chat with the the guy because we can buy a leather chest guard Ciao. and now we have the chest guard applied which is a little bit more health but it also changes our character's look so as we upgrade um our look will also change, so it'll slowly get better and better. We'll still have the same white and, and all that, but like... There we go. Ah, when the horse riding was good. I remember. Alrighty. To Tuscany saying... Jimigongo? Jimigongo? Chimichangas? Sure you want to go to Tuscany? Yes, I want to go to San Chimichangas. Let's go. That is incredibly racist. That is a terrible thing to say. I realize as I say that. Oh my god. My lord. Alright. We're here in Tuscany. I'm not saying that other one no more. That makes me feel uncomfortable now as I say that. Let's go. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Yet he troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene, then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike, Pronti? 
What goes around? Help Mario and his men assassinate Vieri de Pazze. Except. Follow Mario. Come on, Mario. Mario. Mario? You're slow. Can you just jump on their heads? That will surely All take right, care Ezio. of them. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us Alrighty. begin. Stupid courier. He's there every single time. No. No. Got him. Got him. There we go. Stealthy, stealthy. Clean. Help. Oh, okay. Sorry, my bed. My bed, my bed. What are you guys at? Well done, Ezio. We are in. Perfect. This way, man. Play. I'm I following Mario. I want to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Fieri. Va bene. Wait, nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come well, thank join you. Me once they're dealt with. What's Fieri up to now? No one knows, but something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? I'll signal again soldiers. when you should follow. Instead, he's turned us into nursemaids. All right, what? you know what to do. Uh, shooting his mouth off again, no doubt. Angling the wrong sorts of people. And so now, we pay the price. Assassinations. Aha! Hello there! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh! Oh my god, you guys all repeated the same exact same line. That's impressive. Alright. You expect me to follow? <laughs> no. Keep your battle axes down there. I just wanna quick uh do this. There we go. Please go that way. Thank you. There we go. Come, come, come on. There we go. Come. There we go. Look at that. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Feather.
Thank you, my friend. Assassino! Assassino sighted within our walls! Trust me! I gave him 500 bucks. And I took the 500 bucks back. Because I need that money. I cannot. Money is important in this game. Like you need it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, let me... Oh. That's what I'm supposed Ezio, to do. Your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Yes, sir. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know what I want to try? I want to try this dagger. Oh. Ah, you pull. There you are. It seems my plan has been something of a snap. Yearly men ambushed us, so now we've got our hands full. My brothers and I will deal with these guards. I want you to go on ahead and root out that snake. See that justice is served. Oh my god. Brutal. Please go to be I may be expensive, but my goods are worth the extra quatrice. I've never smoked dirty merchandise. Where? Oh well. Damn, I can't go that way. Well then don't. Loot. Nice. Already. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, you. guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Now, if you didn't catch it, the reason uh, Ezio looked so angry was because... Um, obviously, um, the guy the, in the right row that was clearly their leader was with Uberto when he gave him the letter, so that's why he's... No. Come here. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. 
What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che bru... Enough, Ezio! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. What well, goes around? Knife belt acquired. Codex page acquired. Letter to Francesca de Pazzi acquired. Throwing the skill learned. Hey, thank the Lord. Already, let's um database recent entries. Documents, letters. My love, I put these thoughts to paper and. No. Ah. Mister Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Pieri is brash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him, as you put it, beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born out of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul and angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Fra Giocondo. A little bit of insight on who Vieri was. I love that. And here he is. Oh, shoot. It's our campione, Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey, Ezio. Ezio. I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. A change of plans. Learn about the villa and discover the codex pages hidden there. The Pazzi answer to another. Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia. One of the most powerful men in all of Europe and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. 
Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I should read the letter my uncle gave me. Oh, I did actually already. This is Francesco. I did. Hello? Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Reach the villa's viewpoint. Ah, oh, really? Codex pages are peeled in your map by reaching viewpoints. All right. Oh, someone wants me to to find a new one. All right. Come on. There we go. All right, D. Collect the four philosophical codex pages. Yeah, Mario never realized it, but the codex pages were actually just nearby in chests. Codex page card. Like, from a lot, like, a logical standpoint in the world's lore, like, this makes no sense whatsoever. Like, it makes no sense why there are just codex pages and boxes around the world for anyone to pick up. <laughs> the other two are on the other side of the map. For an emperor and the price to match. I hear it. And now I see it. Unbelievable. It's right, and the final one is outside. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Hello there. Thank you. Yum. Yum. Yum yum. Yum, yeah, yum, yum, yum. The child.
Oh, which way do you go now? Left. <laughs> and I can't remember if the game teleports me back or if it makes me do it myself. Decoding for philosophical pages will increase your health. Well, we didn't decode them yet. I changed the plans. Go check out Cla Claudia. Hey, hey. Claudia. Let's go check on Claudia. Memory sync sequence three complete. Instead, it just keeps me in the world. Oh yeah, we can't. Uh, can't take the horse into the city, unfortunately. We can uh, shop. Repair our armor. And buy the leather spoulders. You'll be well satisfied, I know it. And now we have the spoulders added to our gear. And a little extra health. Because we need all the health we can get at this point. She, Mario's gonna be out here. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un mostro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. The problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. Hmm. It's a good explanation for why you never get why there's a max amount. Alrighty. Here to look at the book. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? Told you. I know these lines. A presto, Ezio. I like this man. I love the architect. One He's one of my favorites. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Sir Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this <laughs> I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? I absolutely love the architect. Um, I'm going to want to upgrade the blacksmith. But I don't have enough money, unfortunately. But I can buy an art merchant. I can renovate the bank, which I will do. Handyman. Buon viaggio. Buon viaggio. Holy cow. Okay, I actually do want to take a look at the at the book. Salute, Claudia. You here to look, at, to the look book? at the book? 
All right. So every 21 minutes, um, so Munzer Joni's value versus the chest income. So basically, it divides it by, like, about 10, I believe. Like, it takes away the first number. So technically, our value is at um, 3420 but the chest income is only going to be $341 every 20 minutes. Or Florence, sorry. Obviously, the more we get, the more money we'll be... Um, Make. A presto, Ezio. A presto, Ezio. Go speak to Mario in his office. Let's do so. Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. <gasps> a secret bookcase. How did that happen? Why am I French? I should be Italian. That's the wrong accent, yo. Then. The Chamber of Sages. Oh, wait, wrong series. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. Interesting. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Noted. Um, so yeah, all six of these assassins, obviously barring not Ezio, or Altair, um, like, all did some great act for the, um, like, assa the Assassin Brotherhood. Like, they all did some great act for the brother. Like, they, and, and, like, each one will tell you, and we'll, we'll look at them all, but each figure tells you about an assassin, where they lived, um, who they killed, and what they killed them with. Uh, like, oh, this guy killed them with the bow, this guy killed them with the hidden blade, this guy killed them with the staff, this guy killed them with snakes, and, and so on, and poison, and uh, dagger, or whatnot. Um, but I, I think it's funny that, as of right now, only two of them have been shown. Like, we have no clue who... We've not seen the other ones. Like, we know who... Um, Darius is, and um, we know who Amunet is. Amunet being in Origins, and um, Darius being in the Odyssey DLC. But otherwise, we don't know. <laughs> We've never seen these other characters. So I think it's just funny that in the in 15 years since Assassin's Creed started, we had 15 years of opportunity to see these characters, or 13 years of opportunity to see these characters, and never have. I just think it's funny. Anywho. It's time to return to Florence. Next episode. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, plus much more to come. And as always, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. I've been Local Gamer, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good gaming.